The conflict between Israel and Hamas is not a recent development. It has its roots in the mid-20th century, with the formation of Israel in 1948. The tensions escalated over the years, leading to numerous wars and skirmishes. The most recent outbreak of violence began on the 7th of October 2023, sparking a wave of fear and unrest around the globe. As the war intensified, its ripple effects were felt far beyond the region's borders. In the United States, both Palestinian and Jewish communities experienced a surge in threats and harassment. The Arab American Anti-Discrimination Committee reported hundreds of hate incidents against Palestinian, Arab, and Muslim Americans. Similarly, the Anti-Defamation League recorded a significant increase in anti-Semitic incidents since the start of the conflict. A striking example of this unsettling trend occurred on the 13th of October at a peaceful rally in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. A man brandishing a firearm began shouting racial slurs causing the crowd to scatter in fear. The man who was later charged with ethnic intimidation and making terroristic threats served as a grim reminder of the growing tensions in the wake of the Israel-Hamas conflict. The rise in hate crimes garnered the attention of President Joe Biden, who condemned the incidents in an Oval Office address. He urged Americans not to stand by silently in the face of such hatred. Despite this, experts and leaders from both Jewish and Palestinian American communities fear the trend will continue as long as the war persists. Brian Levin, the founding director of the Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism, expressed concern not only about the intensity of the conflict, but its duration. He warned of a rough ride ahead, suggesting that the protracted nature of the conflict could lead to a sustained increase in hate incidents. This brings us back to our initial question. How has the Israel-Hamas conflict influenced the rise in threats and harassment? The answer lies in the ripple effects of the war. The conflict has sparked fear and hatred, leading to an increase in hate crimes against both Palestinian and Jewish communities. These incidents serve as a stark reminder of the severity of the situation and the urgent need for a resolution. In conclusion, the Israel-Hamas conflict has far-reaching impacts beyond the immediate region. It fuels fear, promotes division, and triggers a rise in hate crimes. It's a situation that requires immediate attention and action from both national and international communities.